Hello, welcome to Business Today Television. I am Harsh Sharma, and with us we have a, a company's founder and CEO, Suhas Rajkumar. Welcome to Business Today Television. Thank you so much. Thank you for you know taking your time and talking to us. My first question is that after a long wait, finally Simple Energy has launched its electric scooter. So please tell us our viewers what is the product and what is the USP and specification. Yeah, so I think uh, to begin with, uh, the starters are you will get a longest range EV scooter in India. You'll get the fastest range, uh, fastest scooter in India, which will do you a 0 to 14 2.77. And you'll get a scooter which, which tops a 212 IDC certified range. Uh, I think that is something that consumers will rejoice. And apart from that, it comes with a great pricing. That's 1.45 plus 13,000 of uh, 750 watt charger X showroom in Bangalore. So I think this is a price point that consumers will rejoice because they are not able to find a scooter which can solve all the brackets uh, and tick all the boxes of safety, pricing, features and, and, and utility per, per se. Hmm. What is the cost of the product and how it's going to be affordable for the consumer? So the cost is 1.45 uh, uh, plus 13,000 of 750 watt charger. I think this, this will bring in uh, a lot of consumers uh, to a segmentation where they are okay to sell out around three and a half thousand per month as an EMI and, and save uh, 4,000 bucks on fuel every month that they spend regularly. And, and also I think this comes with a very affordable price point in terms of the premium market because the other competition that's out there is around 1.7, 1.6, 1.5, the same segmentation, but they come with the range of around 80 to 100. So, so this pushes the envelope for them and, and consumers will start opting for this more than uh, anything else and I think this will set a new benchmark for the pricing as well. Okay and what is your strategy actually markets already branding such Ola, Ether all the brands are already uh, exist in the market so what is your strategy and what is your USP please tell us our viewers. Yeah so our strategy was very clear we wanted to build a scooter which is super and I think we have built that uh, it's in true sense of superior or super EV which does range better performance better safety parameters better Writing uh, statistics, you know, everything is is mentored and 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 checked upon. So I think I think our strategy was very clear on building a great product and the consumers will take care of it. I think we have solved that piece of it. The second piece, I think we are focused on scaling our dealership, our manufacturing capacity, and and I think that will you know resolve most of the issues going forward. In which cities are you going to launch uh, a simple one in coming days? And what are your future plans regarding the simple energy? Yeah, so the phase one begins in Bangalore. I think uh, we'll start expanding from uh, from next three months. Uh, to other cities, uh, it will close to be 40 to 50 cities going forward and post that I think we will uh, do a phase 3 which, which we are looking to penetrate around 150 cities uh, in, in a scale. So hopefully by, by next of, in next 12 months we will be in the majority cities uh, in India and we can cover mass market. A subsidy received under the famous uh, scheme 2 of the Ministry of Heavy Industries are going to be less. Now it's less. So what's your take on it? So I think there are two uh, things about it. One is, of course, reducing subsidies might deter uh, the growth, uh, but that's very uh, small, uh, short term. I don't think that will impact uh, much further on it. Uh, but also it will push the OEMs to become self-sustained and will build products which are more viable and, and, and get in, get in a, a cost perspective which is profitable for both consumers and, and the OEM themselves. Uh, but, I, I, but, but, but our ask or our request would, for the government would be that uh, reducing uh, fame was, was, I mean, that's okay, but but I think, uh, you know, they can extend it further because it will help the OEM to stabilize the next 12 to 18 months of supply chain, which is which is very vital and very crucial for us. Now that we have started stabilizing uh, after the COVID impact, I think that will improve uh, further. Only request is if they can extend it beyond, uh, you know, uh, uh, by, uh, from April or March, sorry, March. Uh, 2024, yeah. My last question is, please tell us about the new investment and what are the pipelines regarding that? Yeah, so so uh, we have raised uh, for around four, $45 million in last round. So currently we are raising, I cannot disclose the number. So we'll be raising $100 million in next... $45 million. Okay. So we'll be raising uh, $100 million more uh, in the next uh, one or two months. And we'll push that into our uh, manufacturing capacity and scale. Thank you so much for talking to Business Group. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.